Hello and welcome to Drake Defense Con. It is the 30th of May, it's past 7 p.m. UTC, so Drake have taken over the sales and expo hall. I say they've taken over the expo hall, they've got their own expo hall just off of Royco Memorial uh, Spaceport, which is still at Area 18 on Arc Corp, but it's at the spaceport um, just by the hangars instead, because they weren't officially invited to uh, participate in Fleet Week. But Drake can do what they want. So we've got the Cutlass Black here. Probably my favorite sort of value ship in the game. You can do a little bit of everything. It's a $100 to, to buy IRL, but get it in game. And this is sort of one to you better get in game. And I think everyone will probably at some point own a Cutlass Black. We've got the Caterpillar here. Caterpillar, really great cargo hauler. Best cargo hauler in the game at the moment. It's actually flyable, but in the future, you're going to have to, or um, well, you're going to be able to change the modularity of it by changing those four central modules to something else and potentially the front module as well. So you can have like um, different functionality, but we don't know exactly what functionality. Maybe it will be more crew berths, maybe it will be places to store liquids, maybe weapons pods, maybe places to construct or do science or something. Uh, but some form of um, modularity there with the Caterpillar in the future. We know the Cutlass Blue has gone on sale now as well, and it's $150 for its war bond price anyway, and $180 for its uh, store credit price. There's also an offer on at the moment that um, you can CCU upgrade to it, um, and it's $150 for the CCU upgrade, but you just pay the difference between the ship you upgrade from and the uh, and the Cutlass Blue. So if you upgraded a Ballista, which is $140, for $10 more you'd get the Cutlass Blue, and you get 120 months insurance on that. Um, we've got the Cutlass Red here, the ambulance ship. I'm really excited about Cutlass ships. I really, really like Cutlass ships. I'm making sure that I pick up a Cutlass Red and a Cutlass Blue today, or today or tomorrow. Um, because I realized I don't actually have them on my account, so I've like, had them for giveaways and stuff before. Hello. Um, but yeah, that's the ambulance. It's got a medibed. It's going to be cool for search and rescue, but obviously very useful for fleets. We've got the Cutlass Blue. I've done various videos on the Cutlass Blue, but it's a police cruiser. It's faster than the other Cutlasses. It's supposed to have um, better starting armaments. I think it's supposed to have better armor. Well, it's supposed to have better armor, but we'll see how that actually pans out with the physical damage system in the future. Um, it's got a quantum dampening device, which isn't exactly the same as the Mantis's. It can just um, stop ships from going into quantum rather than pull them out. Uh, it's also got a load of prisoner pods as well. Um, so you'll be able to make use of those for um, capturing people for the bounty hunter mechanics. No, I do not want to help you, Virgil Spivley. Got the Herald over here. Odd that the Herald's here, but it's Drake's defense con. They can do what they want for their own defense con thing. Um, but yeah, fast data runner. Don't have data running in game yet. Maybe by the end of the year. I actually quite like the layout and the sort of like, it's just a big hangar that they've changed. I like that. Um, got the Buccaneer, which is that medium fighter with loads of guns stuck on, but not much thought to, to sort of like defensive measures. Um, Drake, none of their ships have uh, ejection systems. You have to jump out of the airlock that's how you eject from the ship. So what's in the display hall today? Well, we can see the Dragonfly there, um, which is the cool little hover bikes. Um, but we should see some cool stuff on display on the Hollow Viewer. We've got the Drake Kraken. The Kraken is on sale, although it is immediately sold out. But there's another two waves for your chance to get the Kraken. A protector and a beacon of freedom in an often cruel universe, Drake Interplanetary has made this capital ship available to those tasked with safekeeping those unable to protect themselves. The Kraken is both a sanctuary and a self-confined war machine, ready to take on the most daunting adversaries. So, the Kraken and the Privateer, its variant, are both very exciting to me. It's uh, The Kraken itself is a mobile space station, basically, with a load of cargo in it and a load of... Um, landing pads that you can re repair, refuel, and rearm um, people's ships on, and it's got a little dragonfly bay, and the privateer um, has that, but basically gets rid of the dragonfly bay and some of the cargo, and has shops that like the Manu, the Manu Merchantman, the Banu Merchantman has, um, the more masculine version, the Manu Merchantman. Um, we also have the Vulture here, little light salvage vehicle, and we should get it at the same time as salvage, maybe, question mark, 
and we don't know for sure. And um, we did see some stuff on salvage the other day that may have pointed to having hand salvage, removing things by hand first. But this is going to allow us to do lots more types of salvage, um, stripping uh, the hulls of ships, blowing ships' parts um, like off, and then potentially putting it um, inside your ship, numbing it up in the moor sort of area, although that's more the reclaimers sort of thing. This is more um, focused on that hull stripping where possible. Um, so let's see what it says about the Vulture. There's no denying it, winning can be a messy business when your fleet of Drake ships is done laying waste to the latest batch of outlaws who are full hardly enough to tangle with you and your people. There's going to be no shortage of wreckage to wade through. That's where the Vulture comes in. No need to leave a veritable junkyard around your station or homestead for criminals to use as cover next time they attack. The Vulture can help you clean it all up and then some. Forget just clearing the way salvage pays. What better way to defend yourself than to have broken ships of your enemies pay for the next round of ammunition? Sounds like a fitting end to us. So yeah, very much looking forward to salvaging game. The Vulture, nice um, entry level salvage ship. We've got the Corsair as well. That's Drake's sort of like solution to the Constellation Aquila and um, maybe a budget um, sort of Carrack. Um, it is probably going to be a lot cheaper to run than the Carrack. And because of that, it might be uh, ha have some more uses. Um, Drake Interplanetary Corsair. We at Drake Interplanetary know that sometimes defense isn't just about protecting what's yours. Sometimes it's about striking out and facing the unknown head on. How can you ever be truly safe if you don't know what the threat is waiting for you behind the next mountain range, moon or jump point is? Thanks to a large hold capable of stowing a small vehicle and specifically designed asymmetrical convertible wings, the Corsair adapts gracefully to unfamiliar atmospheres, combat situations and hot landing zones. Be ready for anything and you'll never be caught unprepared. I like all of the Drake ships. I must admit, uh, I'm going to be picking myself up a uh, Cutlass Red and Blue. Actually, let's take a look at the website and see what's available. I don't think there are any Drake skins today, but I was hoping that there would be. Let's have a look. Drake ships on sale today as well. Um, and we have the Cutlass Blue uh, going on sale properly again. So $150 for its war bonds, $180 for its... Uh, store credit version. Um, I've got VAT added here so you can see the price is um, plus 20% more. Um, you can upgrade to the special war bond version as well um, which is $150 but you pay just the difference between whatever ship you upgrade uh, and and uh, the $150 so $10 if it's a, a, a Bethesda you're, you're upgrading and you get 120 months insurance with that as well. Um, so that's a relatively cheap way of getting one potentially. Oh my, we've got some complete packs as well. So we've got some trio packs, which have um, the uh, Cutlass um, series in, the red, the blue, the black. And we also have a complete um, edition of Drake ships, which is all of the Drake ships, um, which is madness. Um, both um, offerings there are available as war bond, so um, just new money uh, or store credit as well. So uh, that is a way of um, grabbing yourself a... Um, Kraken. Um, also, if you are part of the Concierge Peoples, uh, you have access to uh, buying a standalone Kraken. Now, these are sold out at the moment. Oh, the Privateer's available as well. Oh, So we have the Standard Kraken and the Kraken Privateer. Um, now, that's interesting. And the Kraken Privateer war bond isn't as expensive as I expected either. Um, so that's interesting. So yeah, um, we've got the Kraken and we've got the Kraken Privateer. Ridiculously expensive ships. Fifteen hundred dollars. Um, it, it is a uh, plus. Is a ridiculous amount for for a spaceship. It's certainly one I'm going to be getting in game. Um, every time I sort of like justify it into my head, that I then remember how expensive it actually is. Uh, but those will be sold on another two waves, and they're all sold out at the moment. Uh, also, you can purchase the giant expensive pack uh, of all the the Drake ships uh, in a single single package. Uh, what else do we have on sale though? We've got the Drake Corsair and the Vulture both on sale, which are not flyable yet. Um, we also then have the Colors Black, Colors Red the Drake Buccaneer, the Caterpillar, the Dragonfly Black, and the Drake Herald. I don't think there's any skins available, which is weird. Um, we did have this actually pretty cool Drake Interplanetary T-shirt, a real one, which I am probably going to buy. I really... Let's zoom in. I really like that. Um, what's the mug like? Am I a mug for wanting the mug? Oh, it's all right. It's a mug. 
Expected shipping Q3 2020. Well, I've been burnt before on dates. But Drake Defense Con is on until the 1st of June. We've got the Free Fly event on until the 2nd of June. And I believe until at least the 1st of June, we have all of the ships that were previously on sale still on sale. Yes, we do. Which is good if you are looking to purchase uh, something from one of the other ranges or pick up one of the special sort of um, uh, upgrades to get a, a, a ship as cheaply as possible, I suppose. Um, remember, this stuff um, is quite expensive and you can just buy it in game. There's also a new Cutlass Blue little trailer as well, uh, which I'll chuck in somewhere at the video, maybe a couple of times. Uh, but yeah, please tell me what you think. Are you picking up anything in the Drake Defense Con sale? What did you think of Fleet Week so far? Um, are you excited for uh, any of the ships that are coming into the game in the not too distant future? Are you looking forward to um, testing out any of these ships? Uh, how has your Fleet Week experience has been? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. In addition to my May monthly giveaway for an arrow, during Fleet Week I'm also giving away a Cutlass Blue with Star Citizen game package that Cloud Imperium Games have kindly given me for that very purpose. To be in for a chance of winning that, just comment on this video or any made during Fleet Week 2020 on my channel. I would love it if you share this video around as it really does help me, as does support through the YouTube join button or Patreon for people that want to go further. Also, I'm a shill for NordVPN, which I recommend for added internet privacy and security. Also, if you're looking for a gaming PC, instead consider Shadow. They provide cloud games gaming PCs that leverage the power of the internet and an affordable monthly subscription instead of having to maintain your own rig. Use the code BoardGamer for discounts, but you can find links to everything down below.